So we are officially under a month away from NFL football and going back on our TV screens right now. So today, I'm actually going to talk about a team that I'm very familiar with, the New England Patriots. What's the plan? Are they still playoff contenders? Will they win the division? Are they tanking? What is it? We're going to talk about it right now. Welcome to Group Edition. My name is Joe. I'm here to talk about sports. So we are under a month away from getting NFL football back on our TV screens and multiple teams have made different headlines uh, this past off season. One team that I'm very curious to see obviously is going to be the New England Patriots just because it's a new era here in New England, okay? And a lot of people have their, I've, I've talked to different people and they have their expectations mixed on what the Patriots are going to do. A lot of people believe that they're going to win the AFC East. A lot of people believe that, you know, there is a tank job in place. What's going to happen? We're going to go over right now. So real quick, just before I start, I just want to go ahead and emphasize that this is just my opinion. It's just based on what I feel and what I think is going to happen. My opinion may not be the right one. I still want to hear yours, though. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you think and what do you think the Patriots plan is going to be for this upcoming season. So real quick, let's break it down. So Patriots offseason moves. You're going to see it come up on the screen right now. So they lost Kyle Noy, They lost Jamie Collins, Danny Shelton, Ted Karras, Landon Roberts, Philip Dorsett, James Devlin, Steven Gostowski, and yes, they lost the GOAT himself, Tom Brady. As far as player opt-outs, you'll see those come up on the screen. They lost Dante Hightower, Patrick Chung, Marcus Cannon, Marcus Lee, Danny Vitale, and Matt Lacoste. So, what does this mean right now for the Patriots? Well, in my opinion, again, I want to believe that as far as opt-outs, I don't think these players would have opted out if Tom Brady, or not all of these players would have opted out if Tom Brady was still on the team. Next. Bill Belichick signed Cam Newton, and a lot of people are starting to think that, okay, well, still, with this defense and with, you know, Cam in place, we're going to go out there and win the AFC East, and a lot of people are starting with the fact that, you know, the Patriots aren't done yet, but I'm here to tell you guys, just stop. It's done. The Patriots are not going to be good this season. I had Cam Newton winning eight to nine games this upcoming season before these player opt-outs, but when you look at all these, uh, with, the, with this list, these are all... Not all, but most of these players are key contributors in what they're doing. In addition, they lost their offensive line coach, Dante Skarnecki, who's one of the best ones that there was in the league. Again, what's the plan here? Okay. I'm not sold on Cam Dude and Bill believing in Cam just because of the fact that Bill's already said this. That, you know, Cam's going to be treated like every other player. He needs to compete for his snaps and he needs to compete for the job. So Cam's not even going to get all the snaps here. The reason why I don't believe that they're going to win more than 8 to 9 games is because of the fact that Cam Newton, even if Cam was a quarterback for Cam Newton, he couldn't, he had his team just give up on him in Carolina when the team was centered around him and, you know, he had a tough time succeeding. That only gave me that 15 to 1 season that he had, okay, because that, to me that means nothing. To me, if anything, that just makes you a one-hit wonder. As far as for Jared Stidham right now, you know, quite frankly, if we knew, if, if uh, Bill Belichick felt that Jared Stidham was going to be the answer, uh, he wouldn't have signed Cam, period. Plain and simple. He's already had a year. He's seen him in training camp, and he, I feel like, he doesn't believe that, fully believe in Jared Stidham. And you know, unlike Jimmy Garoppolo, where, you know, you are hearing people rave about him in training camp, the same hype really hasn't been built around Jared Stidham. Yes. His teammates have been bragging about him and talking good things about that, but hey, man, that's your team, man. If your own teammates don't say anything good about you, Jesus, I don't know, I don't know what to ex what you should expect. And as far as Brian Hoyer, we know what Brian Hoyer is, okay? He's a journeyman quarterback, solid backup, not the guy that's going to win the starting job. As far as moving on, the Patriots next year, and I know that, you know, there's one thing I've learned is that smart people don't get dumber. Belichick is the most unpredictable coach. And a lot of people, and I've seen some people just questioning, what's the, what's the goal? What's the process here? Next year in the NFL draft, we have three solid quarterback options coming. Two A-plus quarterbacks and a B quarterback. Those quarterbacks in the order are Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, and then there's Trey Lance. Now, for sure we know that Trevor Lawrence isn't going to go to the Patriots just because of the fact that I doubt they are going to be like a 1-15 in or 2-14 football team. But I feel like, you know, I when I when my expectation with the Patriots this coming up season is going to be, you know, a 4-12 and a 5-11 record around there just because of the fact of the entire situation, all these players that they lost. Again, 
the starting quarterbacks aren't getting all the reps. We don't have four training camps. Uh, prop, we don't have four proper training camps in place. And, you know, I feel though, regardless, you know, whoever, whoever's going to be the quarterback of this team isn't going to be the answer. So what's Bill going to do? He's going to reposition his team, and he is going to get one of those quarterbacks for, you know, the future. And that's the way to do it. Because, again, if you're able to get, like, a Justin Fields from Ohio State, you hit the bank. Because some of those guys are, you know, just can't miss pro prospects. This is the first year in a while that we've seen two A-plus quarterback prospects that, that are coming into the NFL. That's like, you know, a Dan Marino or a John Elway, as some other people I've heard describe these guys. These guys are can't miss. Not too sold on Trey Lance, but that's another story for later. Another key note, though, this past weekend, the Patriots did make a little bit of news just because of the fact that they uh, traded a draft pick, undisclosed draft pick, to Detroit for a cornerback named Michael Jackson. Now, why is this big? Because it's going with my repositioning theory for this upcoming season. Don't be surprised if the Patriots start off 1-4, 0-5, and, and let's just say they move Stephon Gilmore and get another first-round pick. Don't be surprised. It might sound crazy, but if you're a Patriots fan and you're a Stephon Gilmore fan, don't be surprised if he gets traded for more draft capital. Uh, capital. Because, again, the plan moving forward is going to be to get one of these quarterbacks. Bill's going to want to trade up and deal and, and deal and gamble and just take a loss for this upcoming season. Again, not truly tanking. It's just like what Colin Coward says. It's representing your team for the future. Okay? Sometimes in life, you got to take one step back to take two steps forward. And that's exactly what the plan is moving forward, okay? Uh, so, unfortunately, it sucks, you know, for us Pats fans because we're going to have a losing season, and that's fine. It happens. Sometimes, you know, you got to sacrifice a little bit to get a larger reward, and that's what's going to happen if we get one of these quarterbacks. That's my prediction for this upcoming season. It's going to be about a 4-12, 5-11, no tank, repositioning to get one of those quarterbacks in the future. I feel like, you know, Stephon Gilmore, Gilmore will be on his way out for the New England Patriots and we'll acquire some more draft picks to just ensure the future and ensure that draft capital capital please obviously no understand that bill is not scared of trading people away so before anyone thinks i'm crazy about that just remember that so there you go guys those are that's my opinion again free free to let me know what your opinion is do you think the patriots are going to win the division do you think they're going to have you know a losing season do you think it's just going to be terrible from the get-go let me know your opinion in the comment section down below tell me what you think thanks for listening if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave it a like and if you enjoy content like this feel free to subscribe i'll catch you later guys goodbye